tonight we've got ourselves a dining reservation here at the Contemporary Resort and we're hoping for maybe something special in the sky tonight. We'll see. But you ready? Let's go. The first thing I wanted to do was head out on the balcony to take a look at Cinderella Castle and Space Mountain all lit up in the dusk as it's slowly turning to sunset. There are quite a few other people out here enjoying the view as well. It's so beautiful. The sunset is getting even more amazing and they've lit Cinderella Castle with the holiday projections. a community update stating we will be conducting some routine fireworks testing around different areas of Magic Kingdom Park this Monday night, November 16th, that's tonight, from 10 p.m. to midnight. So this is a community alert about the noise and apologizing for the noise. But a lot of Disney fans are probably gonna be out here tonight hoping to see some fireworks. Again, I can't guarantee. I don't know what we're gonna see, but we're sure gonna try since we're here. This is the most beautiful night I've seen in a long, long time. Couldn't ask for a better night. As usual, we're heading into our favorite spot, The Wave, to try out some of their brand new special holiday drinks. And oh look, we're in the blue alcove. My favorite, yay! Very soon, I will be doing a holiday monorail crawl. It's gonna be very exciting, got some surprises planned, got a great group of people, and we're going to do the monorail resorts and try holiday drinks and treats. Today though, we're at The Wave and we're gonna try something a little special and different. They have really upped the ante with the holiday drinks here at The Wave. I've already tried the Santa Colada. It was amazing. Also tried the Peppermint Kiss. Outstanding. Super delicious. And if you wanna check out the regular menu, you should be able to scan and check it out. Since we already have that holiday monorail crawl planned where we're gonna try all of the holiday drinks, Tonight we're gonna get a preview of one of the Thanksgiving drinks that is gonna be a one week only. Oh, here it comes. This is gonna be available one week only during Thanksgiving week and it's a pumpkin pie martini. We got to try this while it was in the works and it is so delicious. Let's try this beautiful pumpkin martini. Yeah, let's see how Jackie likes hers. So good. It's amazing. Why can't this be on the menu year long? I know. Oh, by the way, hi, Nate. Oh, hey, friend. <laughs> We're both here at the Wave, back again. Mm. Mm. Good golly, Miss Molly, that is good. If you are here during Thanksgiving week, you need to stop into the Wave and ask for the pumpkin pie martini because that you're not gonna get a drink like that every day. Cheers. There are a lot of lovely things to eat here at The Wave. Some of them I have shown you. Many I will show you in videos to come. But tonight I opted for basically a kid's meal of chicken tenders, green beans, and garlic mashed potatoes. I already started on the garlic mashed potatoes as you can see. But these nuggets are really good. Like, they're really juicy and yummy. And they taste better than park nuggets, so if you've got a fussy eater, there you go. Chicky nuggy. 
The peppermint. Thank you. You're welcome. Get those desserts. We were gonna hold off on getting any of the holiday drinks because we do have the big holiday monorail crawl coming up, but we just couldn't resist. We got the peppermint kiss here. It's house-infused peppermint vodka, agave nectar, and Hershey's chocolate syrup. I sampled this the other day, and it is so good that I just had to try it again. I mean, it's, this is all for science, so, you know. Cheers! Cheers. To the peppermint kiss. The wave is killing it with the holiday best of drinks. They really are. They're killing it. Yeah, the fall drinks were incredible. The holiday drinks are outstanding. The Thanksgiving drink is out of hand. Like, you guys, the wave. Cheers to the wave. Mm. That is delicious. I'm gonna have to agree with my friend Nate here. I think we both like the pumpkin pie martini better. Like Nate was just saying in his video, <laughs> that one has pumpkin pie filling. It's more of like a thick, hearty, creamy drink. This is like a vodka light drink with chocolate. It's very minty, fresh chocolate, delicious. I love mint chocolate, so it's really good. But that pumpkin pie martini, man, that is something special. All wrapped up here at the Wave, and now I think what we're gonna do is scope out a spot somewhere on one of the balconies to try to watch the fireworks testing. I think it would be really cool to see fireworks over Magic Kingdom, even if it's just some like test blasts. It'd still be cool. Let's find a spot. Before we hit up our spot, we're gonna need some dessert. And you know I love gingerbread cookies, so I'm definitely grabbing one of these. Ordered my gingerbread cookies mobile order and they were all ready to go here at Contempo Cafe gave me the number of where to pick them up number one BAM cookies we had our dinner we've got our gingerbread cookies now we're gonna try to find a good spot somewhere on the balcony that's accessible to us where we can go and have a view of Magic Kingdom and try to see if we can see the fireworks testing take place hopefully we'll get a view of it so follow me and let's see if we can find a spot I think we found a pretty good spot right up here at the top of the world. This view is unreal. The monorail going by. There's the contemporary right there. We are over at Bay Lake now at the top of the world. Have the whole spot to ourselves. We've seen tons of people all over the Contemporary waiting to see the fireworks testing tonight, but so far, this spot is ours. So magical. And we have gingerbread cookies. Since Nate and I have this whole balcony to ourselves, no one else is up here, we're eating our cookies and we have beverages, the masks are off for now while we're eating and drinking and totally alone up here at our lake bench. If other people come up, we'll put the masks back on or when we're done eating or drinking. But for now, it feels nice to have it off and breathe for a little bit and be at a seat and have our gingerbread cookie. I love the contemporary sticker. I got these at Contempo Cafe downstairs. They're available at the quick service. You can mobile order them as I showed you and just eat them pretty much anywhere in the contemporary that's accessible. Like, there's something about eating contemporary resort gingerbread cookie here at this resort during the holidays that is just, how do I head away? Mwah, chef's kiss, so good. So here we go, gingerbread man. My favorite part of a gingerbread cookie are the parts that have the crunchy icing on them or if there are like gumdrop buttons. This one's got like a little Mickey on his tummy and that's gonna be yummy. Ah, mm. uh, we just watched the castle projection switch. Wow guys, look at that. We missed it by a second, but the projection did just switch up and even the lights changed their pattern. Yeah, the big spotlights kind of sweep around if you go back and watch our first day of the holidays videos at Magic Kingdom, we showed what these look like in the sky from Magic Kingdom. They look incredible. You can see the Christmas tree. Can you see it? The train station. Yeah, Nate, look. You can see the Christmas tree. Look at this sweet, sweet zoom I got on that. Holy schmoly, I didn't expect to be able to zoom like that on that tree. 
Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, I'm zooming in to see you. It's now 9.12 p.m. Magic Kingdom has been closed for an hour and 12 minutes. That means that soon they may be doing that bonus end of the night projection on Cinderella Castle and if so, we should be able to see it from up here. I showed it in my first day of the Holidays at Magic Kingdom vlog. So if you want to see it from in the park view, check that video out. But this is a pretty, pretty cool and rare vantage point to see it from too. Hopefully we can catch it. Is that it? That's it. I think that's it. There it is. The last projection of the night where it snows on the castle. That is good stuff. So some of the monorails are still running, doing their job. Oh my gosh, a humongous spider. A humongous spider was next to my arm. Anyway. In a second there, we're gonna see the monorail actually go back to its home. Oh, it's happening right now. See, one's working. It's taking people to contemporary and one's going home. That is awesome. That's so cool. Good night, monorail. It's going to bed. Oh look, we can see it come out over there too. Yeah, so it'll go all the way around. It's now 9.32 p.m. and they have shut off the giant spotlights that were emanating up from behind the castle. So it seems like we're getting closer to everything really closing down for the night. We've already seen one of the monorails switch tracks to be taken in for the night. And we've got a second one on the track looking like it's slowly, slowly inching its way home like an inchworm. This kind of thing, especially for locals and diehard Disney fans, is kind of like a cool fun adventure. It's like, are we gonna see the fireworks testing? Aren't we gonna see it? What are we gonna see? What's it gonna be like? We don't know, so that's part of the fun and the adventure. And you know, this may just be for regulatory purposes, just like the testing we saw at Epcot, I think that was like a few weeks ago, not too long ago, where they have to test for sound purposes, regulations, keeping within guidelines or codes or whatever what have you but it's so cool for us Disney fans who are locals to see things like this it's like a promise of tomorrow a promise of fireworks to come something cool something special something different plus just hanging out with friends and enjoying this together it's like it's it's just a fun adventure and I'm really glad I can bring you guys along for special things like this people are scoping out spots on the balcony over by the California Grill and on the second floor of the Contemporary, and we have got this sweet, sweet spot. Just waiting to see the first firework testing. Over there is the California Grill balcony. And it looks like there are some people there. And then right there, wait, no, right there <laughs> is the main balcony where we were earlier. Looks like a few people out there and more and more people trickling out. And the main seating area is kind of behind that pillar so we can't see it. But I do see a few people on the balconies there all waiting to see some action. Oh look, I see on the other side too, there are people on every level. So I showed you that side. Now look at that side. That is crazy. Oh, look, a spider! Oh my gosh, the music and the quiet wind. This is so nice. Even if no fireworks happen, honestly, this is incredible. I can see the Christmas tree, Cinderella Castle, Space Mountain, all the lights. It's just so nice. Also, we have a really good view of Tron from up here. Check that out. Oh, what's happening? There we go. Any minute now. 10 17 p.m. Still no fireworks testing. We're waiting. We're scoping. First of all, so Space Mountain just got that red light on it, and the castle just went to normal lighting back to the snow lights. 
Space Mountain is now all purple. There's a few blinking lights in the parks. Things are slowly sort of changing, but still no fireworks. At this point, I'm like looking for any little minute change to signify that anything is happening. All the fairies have stopped running for the night. We were watching them go back and forth ferrying guests back to the Ticket and Transportation Center. They are long done for the night. The monorails are also all long done for the night. And it also looks like all of the resort buses are done for the night. Actually, there's one resort bus. That might be the last one down there. Oh my gosh! It's happening! They're Christmas fireworks, Woo! like kind of. <laughs> that is awesome. Woo! Did you see the colors? They were so yes! pretty. <laughs> I can hear people cheering. This is awesome. It's cool to see the puffs of cloud in the sky too. We can hear people cheering from all over. This is exciting. They turned the castle lights off. Space Mountain though is still lit up. The castle. Oh, it just turned back off. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh it turned that, back, that, on. back on. Oh my gosh, they're, they're turning the castle on and, and off. Here. Also, look at the lighting. Totally different lighting. Totally different lighting. Holy schmoly. Okay, we've never seen that lighting, Nate. All right, I'm gonna try to get a good look at it. Right? I'm zooming, Nate, I'm zooming. What is happening to the castle right now? That is not normal lighting. I'm freaking out, you guys. It's now 11, 10 p.m. We've seen quite a few fireworks go off, different types and different colors shooting off. We've seen the castle lights change colors, go on and off a few times. All in all, it's been a really, really cool and unique view up here. And it's just neat to see them testing the fireworks and also to hear other fans cheering with excitement watching it. That's great. That was a whole bank of them going off at once. Wow, some really big, beautiful ones. It's closing in on midnight. They are wrapping up the fireworks testing. It was so great to see fireworks above Magic Kingdom. It was just totally magical and awesome. I loved it so much. We could hear people all over the Contemporary and Bay Lake cheering with excitement. Everyone was so happy. There were other people up here, but not many. We mostly had this area to ourselves, but anyone on any balcony was so excited to see it. And I'm sure guests from their rooms were having a wonderful view tonight because that was cool. One thing that made it especially cool was being up here on this balcony and having Christmas music playing the whole time. Even if we wouldn't have seen fireworks, I still would have had a great time tonight trying Christmas drinks and just hanging out at the Contemporary. 
Looking at Christmas decorations, the giant Christmas tree here at the Contemporary is not up yet. They're putting up the Christmas trees at each resort one at a time. I do plan to see as many of the resort Christmas trees as possible, but I'm kind of waiting to like see if as many are up as possible to like see a bunch in one go. But I'm telling you, the parks are just getting prettier and prettier and more festive by the day. I always have fun and exciting stuff coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. This was a little bit different, a little bit of like an adventure just to kind of see what happened and look what happened, it was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused, bye bye. So far